morning. It is Wednesday morning. Let's get this day started. I'm feeling better today. Um, we may end up making a trip to the library today, so um, we'll just see how it goes. And if I feel like I'm still having coughing fits, then maybe not. So, uh, this is my planner. I don't have like, I have not invested in like a planner, one of those fancy ones that you see at the store. I get real close to buying one, but I really like this one. My kid stick a sticker on here. That's cute. Um, and I just use, basically it's like a regular uh, five star folder, a mead folder. And um, I'll just leave that there. And um, so I just kind of like decorate it a bit, you know, and I like this because it's, um, it is simple. <clears throat> I didn't want to spend that much on, you know, a planner. So I actually have these copies of like a blank month and I just copy them off and then um, I put them in here so I could fill out my own months and my own days. Um, and then just kind of like decorate them however I want. Um, and what I started doing was using these um, stamps, using like um, just regular like stamping up stamps. And I have markers, stamping up markers that I use to color them. And they come out really pretty. Uh, they're kind of translucent markers. And the markers that I got from stamping up to do this have lasted me over 10 years and they're still going strong. And I use a lot of stickers, put up some little little birds peeking over the days and some little, you know, inspirational things. Um, here comes Thanksgiving. I usually spend the whole day beforehand cooking and baking before Thanksgiving. Um, so anyway, this is usually what I use um, and I've got to decorate my the next ones. But um, what I have is I have I like this kind of a folder because it can fit full page, um, you know, different things that I need. I mean, for appointments and things like that, I stick, uh, it has little areas to stick those into. So I know that I've got like all my dental checkups back here, my to-do list, lists of birthdays and stuff. And then a little place for um, business cards and appointment reminders, uh, which I put back in here. So it's got... Um, all these really neat little things plus you can put in you know it's got a three ring so you can put in your you know uh, carry around a lot of other different things like you know highlighters and stuff like that I have this other little I bought this one at the dollar store but it's a calendar and what I do with this calendar is I keep track of my weight in this one so it's kind of like a secret one you know I don't talk about my weight online that don't want my husband to know about it and so I hide this one deep in here so I can watch it um, anyway that is my personal planner then I have another planner that's just for the kids and their home I wanted to show you a couple of books I found at the thrift store when I was there I found these two hungry girl books and I got them for like a dollar fifty each and as you can see they run about 14 bucks each uh, new so that's pretty good that's a good buy. So this one is 200 items under 200 calories. Really, really good. And, and so you can see I've already marked a whole lot of different things on here that I want to try. And this one is 300 items under 300 calories uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that will give you really good um, ideas on, you know, what different things to make. And uh, I made a little pocket holder right here. I love these little things. I was showing the kids how to make those. That's why I made mine so kind of, you know, <laughs> first grady. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. I just stuck that on a random page. Um, a lot of stuff on here that's under 300 calories. It's really amazing what you can do. Um, so anyway, these are a couple of good books to have. If you ever went into Hungry Girl, grab them. To whirl up this five-point smoothie, that's going to be my breakfast. A scoop of the super greens, uh, that blend, and a scoop of this one, more greens, and then I've got more spinach in there, uh, about five strawberries, and a cup of cashew milk. I ended up adding one-third cup of this uh, light and fit vanilla Greek yogurt for one point, so now it's a six-point smoothie. But flies can't, can't be put. Okay, so for this dessert, I had about a quarter cup of the chocolate pudding with one tablespoon of the 
fat-free Cool Whip. I use the microplane to shave off about a quarter of this pure protein bar, which was amazing, and it gave me a little shot of protein, so it was really satisfying. So that was a really good move. Great dessert. Here's what I'm having for dinner. I am having a big bowl of the soup that I made. Believe it or not, I made this out of the faux potato salad, the cauliflower salad that I had this afternoon. I um, mixed it with, um, well, I browned some shallots with a little olive oil on a pan, and then I added it in, <clears throat> and then added in some fennel, and um, some chicken bone broth, and uh, a bay leaf, and I cooked it, simmered it for a while, and then I pureed it in the Vitamix, and um, I removed the bay leaf before I did that. And now, I, it's really super tasty as a soup. Good morning everybody, it is Thursday morning and uh, I just wanted to touch base with you. Today is my hubby's birthday, so we're going to be preparing for his birthday today. Uh, it's going to be a celebration with the, the younger kids today, and then tomorrow evening uh, we'll go out with our older son, our eldest son. And uh, so, and then on Sunday, Sunday is or Saturday. I think it's Sunday. Um, our little one is going to turn. He's going to turn seven. Gosh, I can't believe that already. So we have two birthdays, and that means uh, cake a couple times. And I have been super on point for the last two weeks. I've been like really, really on point. Very little, if any, sugar at all. Last night I made the kids some um, gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, and I had one, and they were a little small, you know, but I noticed that bothered my stomach a little bit because it did have brown sugar in it and for some reason I noticed that um, sugar seems to give me kind of a stomach ache and I thought well what's up with that um, so I'm kind of looking into that but at the same time you know we've got cake and you know my favorite thing is cake um, so it's a little dangerous around me I hear it trouble brewing. I'll be right back. There was a little trouble brewing, but every morning it's like that. The kids get at each other about some silly thing. Anyway, um, so um, I was thinking, now my husband's, uh, I asked him what kind of cake do you want? You know, what do you want? I know he likes lemon meringue pie, and um, I don't like lemon meringue pie, so I said, do you want a pie? Because in my head I'm thinking, if you want a lemon meringue pie, I can get him that and I won't want it at all. And he said, no, I want, you know, that supermarket chocolate cake with the white icing, the kind that's really good. I really like too. And I said, oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> so maybe I'll try to find a, a small one. <coughs> and, um, and then um, usually our seven-year-old, he always, for the past three years, he wants the same thing, a supermarket cake that has the Hulk on it. <laughs> so that's what he wants, I'm sure, again. Um, and I've just got to make a plan and figure out what I'm going to do about that um, and make sure that I stay away from the cake, you know. I just, I've been doing so well, and I didn't tell you that I actually, in the last week or so, in the last week and a half, I've lost 4.4 pounds. And that really surprised me. And it wasn't because I was sick, because I was eating. Um, most of the time I was sick, but I, like I said, I've been eating really good. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, it's Cat on Point. I'll see if I can link it below. Um, you know, that is, I, I usually show a lot of what I eat on there. Not everything, but it gives you a good overview of the things that I like to have. So anyway, um, I don't exactly want to put that back on. So um, anyway, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes, and um, then we'll talk more. See you later. I have two handfuls of spinach in this blender and two eggs, a few leaves of basil, and I'm going to blend that up before I cook it. All right, I added um, a half a slice of bacon, and which I'm actually cooking that in uh, a little bit of the grease of that. 
and I'm just going to cover this and no cook it. A teaspoon of the fat-free crumbled feta cheese on here and now I am just going to, this is really pliable, I'm just going to go ahead and roll it up. Here is the finished product for the pinwheels for breakfast and I'm using a dot of this um, Valentina hot sauce here on a few of these. I already had a piece and I can taste the basil and it is so good, it's so amazing. And I will put the points up on the screen, um, but it's just a real pretty nice little thing to take and pack or have. Pretty low in points and um, really delicious. It is late and I think I'm going to end the vlog right here because it's getting a little long. I do want to talk to you about some things, um, motivation and sabotage and stuff like that. And I haven't got around to doing that yet, but um, I'm still fighting this chest cold. So I feel like I'm still kind of like running on autopilot. Um just to get things done around here so anyway um, it was good news to have the weight loss and just chugging along I did end up going over let's see by eight or nine points today so I dipped into my weeklies which I never do haven't done for the last two weeks so um, that's okay I had plenty of weeklies for that I have not because of being sick I have not been able to meet my step goal every day so my exercise is kind of taking a bit of a hit um, <clears throat> it's just, you know, after a while, just my chest starts, just starts hurting and I still have just like a really hard time, you know, getting my exercise up. But, um, I, I think the first things are first and that is to concentrate on getting better and then I can get back to normal pretty soon. So anyway, just checking in with you. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful day and, um, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.